In this video I'm going to show you a deadly technique to get these big snapper in close. Use your lobster legs, and it's a lobster head from your past catch. Make out your frozen heads. And this is what you can do with a big snapper. You can absolutely crazy. This fish came past me when I was already on the bottom, my hand in a crack. I just ignored it, went back to the surface, and luckily Chris was right there. Just let out a couple of legs and feelers, and this guy uh, certainly played the game. Come up in mid-water, and as you can see, Chris took a lovely shot off the surface, managed to land this beautiful red. If a nice snapper comes in excited because you're rattling the lobsters around, it's important to ignore the fish. Don't try to point your gun at it. Go back slowly to the surface once it's gone past you. Let out some burley. Don't let out too much burley. It's really important that you're only feeding on one or two, maybe three legs at a time, because you want that fish to hang around. You don't want him to be able to eat the burley and then get full and more wary and take off. And you don't want him to spend all his time on the bottom, picking the legs off the bottom. You want to get him up in mid water where you can get a good shot at him. You can see the snapper cop up the lobster legs that it ate before. When you land them, bad shots when they swim off. <laughs> ah, very nice, mate. That's a beautiful snapper. Happy beautiful. Got to be happy with that. Very good. Awesome dive. Apologies for the sketchy filming here. I had the camera in one hand and I'm trying to pull the snapper in with the other. So it's not very easy to keep the camera on the fish while you're trying to pull it in one hand. And
beautiful big snapper. Saw a little one come in about two kegs. One of the legs had come off this lobster. I broke it in half, chucked it up current. Next thing this bad boy comes in. Fantastic. Hung there on the surface, waited as close enough, put a long shot in. In that side, out the bottom. Wasn't holding on by too much, but anyway. Good stuff. Got him. Look at that. Lovely big red. Spent about five minutes getting the confidence of this snapper, feeding him legs a little bit at a time, till he finally got a lot, a lot more game, and this is the end result. Here we've just got to the edge of the reef, swimming out off the beach and I've seen four snapper, two really good ones and a couple of small ones. One little lobster leg in and this guy's come flying over to see what's going on. Crystal clear water, give me an easy shot off the surface. It's important not to dive on these fish as you'll just spook them. When you see these small slimy mackerel or really small yellow tail, have a really good look around for the snapper because they're often close by feeding on these great fish. I 
I've shot this fish a little high up. It's uh, tricky when you're taking shots off the surface to uh, get the right angle on them. But anyway, uh, with snapper, if they can't get into the reef, just take your time, play them out slowly, let him wear himself out and run and you shouldn't pull a shaft out of him, hopefully. This was the second big snapper that was with the one I shot earlier, but it was a lot bigger fish and a lot warier. I've condensed this footage down so you don't get to see all the boring bits, but it actually took about three or four minutes to get this snapper up to this stage where he was starting to get a bit more confident coming in. Really wanted the lobster legs, but he was a bit shy after he'd seen his mate get shot just before. But uh, you'll see what happens as it plays out. The small snapper are a great help here as they give the big fish confidence. They're racing in and grabbing the bits of legs. He's feeling like he's missing out on a feed and that'll just help to build his confidence to come in and come closer and closer and hopefully give you that good shot. with this fish is I just couldn't get him confident enough to get up in mid-water and start feeding. He was just waiting all the time till the burley would hit the bottom, then he'd race in, grab a leg, still be very wary. This is what really gets your heart rate up is that big snapper's darting in underneath you. All you can think about is how you want to get it so badly, but it's not good for your nerves. And it certainly didn't help my shooting on this occasion. Sometimes you do all the hard work and a bloody awful shot just lets you down. And now you see how you should do it. we just taken our bag limit of craze out of the infamous Wobby Gong hole. Ian got a little nip himself. I saw a really big snapper come screaming over the bottom towards all the activity. And I said to the rig, don't dive. We'll try and take this guy with some lobster legs. Another great trick with a tropical lobster is to move their horns up and down against their head and make that squeaking noise, that burp, burp, burp noise that the tropicals make. That'll bring snapper in as well. They, uh, love, they love that noise.
Awesome stuff, the old cray leg technique. Come screaming in after we'd worked this hole, pulled our bag limit illegal easterns. He come in for the legs. He gets up in mid water, you could have shot him, you were so patient not to shoot him. Very nice of you. Let me have this one. How good was he? How well did he play the game? I oh, know, I'll give you another one. <laughs> no, the next one is definitely yours. Okay, we'll see. We'll put on the lie detector a little bit later and see how it goes. 